Welcome once again into your favorite program, A Chapter a Day, a.k.a. Akkad. On here we get to know who we are in Christ, the power we possess, the things we can and cannot do, we should or should not do, so that we can live a successful Christian life here on earth and end up spending eternity with God in heaven. Heaven in view, that's the whole idea. And of course, we also get to study the Word of God together and we create an audio Bible in the process. The Bible says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. How well, how best can we grow but by listening to the word, okay? So, let's get on with a chapter today. today. Normally, what we do on here is we sing, like you heard me singing from the start, if you're watching from replay or if you watch from the beginning, if you just connect it right now, you can actually watch a replay of the start and you'll see that we sing. It could be any song. We are praising God, we're thanking God, we're honoring God, we're worshiping Him. It could be just anything. We could be making a vow and all that. And then we hand over the session to God. Then we do the birthday party where we give shout outs to people who are in our birthday book. And then we pray for the birthday people, like every single person who was born on that day. After which, we do the Bible party. 
our Bible party for today is taken from the book of Psalm 96 and it has 13 verses. Psalm 96 has 13 verses and after the Bible party, we read it and get the audio Bible, we now study. We have this conversation where you can tell us what God is saying. You can also tell us what God said to you throughout the day because you might have come in and you're not sure what we're doing but you're going to hear us talk and you're going to know it's all about God. It's really basically all about God. So the focus is Jesus. Whatever we do on here, regardless of how nice or how beautiful it is, it's all about Jesus. We want you to get to know about Jesus. So, of course, you could tell us what you learned today on Sunday service. You could also tell us what the Lord said to you throughout the week. You could also say to us what the Lord showed you during morning devotions or something or during your quiet time. Just about anything that God is telling you to bless us with on a chapter a day. You could be in the comment section firing on or you could actually request to come live and bless us so we can put a face to the name. We're always grateful to have you all on a chapter a day. So let's get right on with our activities for the day. First, we're handing over the session to God, after which we're going for the birthday party. So let's go. Father, we thank you for this day that you may we rejoice and be glad in. We thank you for your mighty hand of protection, provision. We thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your tender mercies. We thank you for all that you've done, you're doing, and you're still to do, because in everything, you work for good to them that love and serve you and are called according to your purpose. Lord, we give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration because you deserve it. There is none like you in all the earth. You are the amazing king. You are the awesome ruler. You are the Gentile redeemer, O oh Lord. Father, we worship you. We bless your holy name, O oh God. You are the one who never fails. You never sleep nor slumber. You are always there for us, looking out for us, O oh God loving upon us even when we do not deserve it father we're most grateful we're forever grateful to you we thank you for all the amazing and awesome things you've done in our lives we thank you for keeping us safe and secure or to the glory of your name father who is like unto thee amongst the gods who is like thee you're glorious in holiness fearful in praises always doing wonders lord come and speak to us today in a very special way let our expectations not be cut short Lord, we've come here with expectations and we know that there's going to be manifestations of those things we desire to see because expectations but manifestations. Lord, we pray, oh God, that it's going to be you and you alone that will be seen, felt, heard and experienced throughout this edition of the chapter today. today. We are so completely and totally grateful to you. Let us fizzle out totally and let it be just you that will be seen, experienced, felt, and enjoy it throughout this session today. For in Jesus' mighty and blessed name we pray. And all the saints shall say a ginormous amen. Amen, amen, and amen, guys. Let's get it going. It's time for the Bible party. Time for the Bible party. It's time for the Bible party. Yeah, no birthday party sorry guys it's time for the birthday party i made a mistake with that one so let's get this birthday party going guys let's get it going are you ready let's find out who is on our birthday book the first person is mom zinatu adams mom zinatu adams is one of my small that i got to know when i was in ghana she was one of those persons who used to keep me company because um my school was actually in the evening my school my classes were always in the evening and so when i was not working yet i used to stay at home and all that so i got to know um zina and when i got to know her, i used to go to that shop like that's where i learned a little bit of tree and stuff like that so i used to be there and i would have a conversation with her i chat with her very nice young lady who loves God and loves to to make people happy and all that happy birthday to you mom Zena the next person is uh, mom Forsa Harriet mom Forsa Harriet we actually got to know each other when we were in high school very welcoming very friendly she's also very quiet but she has this really pretty smile and uh, we got to know each other in high school then we kind of separated 
at a university, lost contact up until some time ago on Facebook we were connected again and later on we did on our I think as excellent association if not we really really did reconnect on Facebook Facebook makes things happen people like I mean social media has been of tremendous help to me honestly speaking social media has been of tremendous help to me because if I wasn't there there's some people that I would not have met again you know, after some people I've met who were not met for like 20, 20 years plus, some people who've not met for like 10 years plus, 15 years plus, and we got to reconnect on Facebook. It's just beautiful. The next person is Mam Elizabeth Amabo. I got to know Mam Elizabeth Amabo in our extra association group. She was the president at that time. She is a very loving person, very caring. She's the one who always used to watch my videos and tell me, oh, you're doing a great job and everything. And she's also one person who loves to take care of people, loves to help people, especially women. She loves to help women to become confident of themselves and to be able to do things that will change their lives and change the lives of the people around them. So we actually did something together. I think there's this organization that she runs. I've forgotten the name. Women something something. When she sees this video, she's going to put it in the comment section. Are you all should go and follow follow their page, follow them and see the activities they're carrying on. You can actually participate, you can actually support, you can be a part of it as well. So you just follow her and get to find out. She's a very loving person, very hardworking. She was the president with an, with an excellent spirit. Like, you know, if people can take more terms and more terms, at being president, I would have voted for her again and again and again. Happy birthday to you, Crazy. I still call her my Crazy anyway. And then Mr. Gideon Taka as well. We also went to the same, um, I think it was high school, and then we kind of separated, and then later on again we reconnected on Facebook, and then in our accident station group. A lot of these people, that's what happens. Mr. Gideon, Mr. Gideon Taka, there's never a dull moment with him. You can literally laugh your hearts out. Like, he's so fun to be with. He always, he's the one who likes to make the environment to be very lively, to be very jovial and all. He loves to live life to the fullest. Guy is a doctor with a difference. I salute, Doc. Happy birthday. The next person is Manfojo Kari. The same, we met at high school. All these people are in my engineering association group. Um, we met in high school and we became really good friends and stuff and then disconnected again university level and reconnected again cars I think I couldn't find her on Facebook but I got to connect with her on the exit association group and I'm very very grateful I'm very happy that I did right so happy birthday to you mom Karine she's also one very amazing person she laughs she smiles she's very friendly she it's easy to connect with her if you have to. And then the next person is one pretty woman called Michelle. Michelle is just a bundle of success, wisdom, and all going around happening. I got to know her through um, when I joined this group called FGA, Friends with Global Ambition. If you know the FGA, wait till you gain. <laughs> Oh my god, this group is amazing. It has a set of amazing people. I told you guys that lots of times when there's some in-house job opportunities, these people bring them to us and you all get this first-hand um, opportunities like we all do. This is me setting myself up because I share them with you when they share them with us. And there are these kinds of people that um, even if, if a job opportunity comes up, like they want every other person to go further in their area of gifting, in their area of calling, in their area of specialty. So when they see a job opportunity, they, 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 you know there's always this thing that they say like a lot of Africans kind of do, I don't know, people have changed, but in this group, they are really good. So they don't do that. I've seen them doing the, the best part of it, which is someone sees that there's a, job, there's a job opportunity available. They're not qualified for it because it's not even in their field. It's not even in their area of, um, uh, of calling, you know, like that. And then they won't show it to you who is their friend, even though you're in that field, 
because they feel that if you get that job you're going to be higher than them that's so bad like if you call me your friend why would you see an opportunity and not give me because you want me to keep being under you does it even make sense like does it even make sense anyways that's not fga fga if they see that there's a job opportunity whether you'll be 10 times over them they will share the opportunity with you because why they want to see each and every one of us there grow and michelle also shares a lot of opportunities she's uh um she's uh what's that thing again i forgot to have the calling but some exercise kind of thing she's actually a trainer she's a trainer or something some fitness trainer kind of stuff i know it has a name but i can't remember the name but i know she's a fitness coach and many other things she is really great one pretty super flexible amazing and pretty woman on fire happy birthday to you the last but not the least is my kid sister the pretty the amazing the serene the calm the hearty grace madika drum roll okay this little girl this little sister of mine she's just very 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 much amazing we got to meet each other when when Dubai. Okay. So she came, she was just this quiet, very soft spoken, just sitting on my own kind of person. And I went and spoke with her. Like because I like to make friends. And of course she just caught my attention the first time I saw her. Like I love Afro, I love natural and everything. And she was this natural. She was just looking all natural and really cute. Like this like this melanin popping barbie doll kind of so when i saw her I, I knew i needed to talk to her so i went and started talking to her and I, of course i didn't make an error she she was just a sweet soul young lady who is so hard working so pushful i mean she's just amazing all right amazing looking out for her family we just had the same values and so we clicked we just clicked easily People will go all loud for their families. People will stand strong and all. And you look at her, she's like my size, smallish like me like that. She's very pretty, very hard working. She can pass for a model. I don't know why she's not even into modeling anyways. She's actually really, really good. And she always has some of these really great designs. Of course, she sells, I think, outfits, handbags. I, I don't know if it's unisex or just for, for, for ladies. But when she sees this, she's going to put it in the comment section and let you guys know where you can get this product of hers that she has available. So, Ada Maduka, I really love you, you know, right? Your place day. Your place day, small sister. Your place day. Always, now and always, your place day. So don't fear, don't freak out. I'm sure by now she should have been worried, like, Princess forgot my birthday. I can't even if I wanted to. I cannot forget your birthday. There are some people that the thing is the time difference has actually taken a toll on me. I used to be the person I was this much of a birthday freak so much so that I wanted to be telling people happy birthday. So if your birthday is today like 12 midnight of your 12 midnight, I am sending you a message or I'm calling you or I'm sending you a voice note or something. A happy birthday thing so I always wanted to be the first to tell everybody who has their birthday in my birthday book I wanted to be the first to tell them happy birthday so now with the time mix and everything it's so hard meanwhile before when it was just um, I had just a lot of people in my birthday book were Cameroon it was easy because the alarm thing could do the thing for me the alarm thing could do the drill for me so my alarm will just ring around that time and then I'll wake up and be ready and then set. But now, I have lots and lots of people, my sisters, families, loved ones, they're just scattered all over the world. So it's not funny. Some people, I'm like three hours ahead of them, five hours. Some people, I'm like 11 to 15 hours ahead of them. Some people, I'm like six, three, and all that. So the time frame is just scattered all over. So I don't get it right. So most of the times, people are wondering like, the princess forget my birthday did she just miss it like what's going on no i can't considering the fact that i even do a chapter a day there's no possibility to miss it except i didn't do a chapter a day and then you know that i would have to still apologize to you though but 
as long as I were doing a chapter a day, we can never forget your birthday, you know, right? Because we would have to do birthday party before we get to the Bible party. So let's get to pray for all the birthday people. Um, one thing I know about Mom Grace Madika that I also didn't say is like she supports every single thing that I do. I remember my birthday some time ago. They were supposed to make videos and share them out. They were supposed to share my stuff and all. She shared like there was no tomorrow. This young lady will support me now and anytime, any day, anywhere. I'm always taken aback by her. Her desire to push my things, to make my things go forward, to make my things go like far and wide if it has to. I'm always elated, always, totally and completely elated. So guys, let's go. Let's pray for the birthday people. Happy birthday again. Once again, Mom Zinatu Adams. Happy birthday, Mom Fossa Henriette. Happy birthday, Mom Elizabeth Amabo, aka Presido. Happy birthday to Mr. Gideon Taka. Happy birthday to Mom Fodio Karin. And a happy birthday to Mom Michelle and to my kid sister, Grace Maduka. Happy birthday to you all. So let's get to pray for the birthday people and get right on with the Bible party. Get right on with the Bible party. Let's go. Father, we thank you for all these amazing people who are born today, O oh Lord. Father, for all the ones who are in our birthday book, the ones that are not here, the ones we know, the ones we don't know. Lord, we pray, O oh God, that you're going to bless them. Open the windows of heaven and pour the choices of your blessings upon their lives and rebuke every devourer in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you cause them to be trailblazers, space setters, and world changers in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, give them all that it takes to be able to go and conquer their world in Jesus' name. Lord, let their going out and coming in be blessed. Let whatever they lay their hands on prosper. Wherever they tread their feet upon, give it to them as a possession in the mighty name of Jesus. We're holding on to your word, speaking it and claiming it because we know that your word is here and amen. All your promises are here and amen. They never fail. They never go out and come back the same. They always accomplish the purpose for which they sent. Lord, we pray, O oh God, that you're going to open the eyes of these ones who were born today, O oh God. They're going to know those they're supposed to be destiny helpers to strategically position themselves to help these people when the time is right. So too, you're going to strategically position their bed, their destiny of us all around them so when they also cry out for help help is going to be made available for them divinely connect them to people and things that will cause them to be their best and progress and divinely disconnect them from people and things that will cause them to stagnate or retrogress lord i pray oh god that you're going to bless them with the choices of your blessings oh god do for them that which only you can do and no man can do lord i pray oh god that you're going to lead them aright you're going to show them the way you're going to teach them the part so that they will not derail, O oh God. Father, cause them to increase in wisdom and stature, gaining favor before God and before men. Lord, let their light so shine before men that they will see the good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you perfect all that concerns them. Give them a sound order and 26 state, a state of continuous laughter, singing, rejoicing, and dancing. Lord, as they continuously fulfill purpose, doing that which they have to do, O oh God. If they get to a place where they feel like they want to give up, they want to back out, they want to let go. Lord, they'll hear a clean, loud, clear voice that's going to say, this is the way it walked out in it. They won't stray, they won't derail, they'll stay on cause. And after it all, all glory will be given unto your holy name. Father, we bless your holy name, O oh God. Father, that they'll be the ones manifesting to the groaning nations that are waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because you're a faithful king. Thank you, Lord. Let your path keep shining brighter and brighter unto that perfect day. Father, I pray that that gift will make a way for them, causing them to stand before kings, not before mean men. Lord, whatever they do, O oh God, will prosper. Father, we bless your holy name, O oh God. We give you all the praise, O oh God. We give you all the glory. We magnify you, O oh God. We exalt you, O oh God. You are God all by yourself. Blessed be your holy name, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, open doors for them that no man can shut, and shut every door that no man can open, O oh God. Father, let them be able to gallantly march into those doors and receive that which you prepared for them behind these closed doors. Lord, deal with every adversary as well. For in Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we pray, O oh God, that you're going to guide them, you're going to lead them, you're going to show them the perfect way, O oh God. 
the way that is just yours, O oh God. And they are going to live for you and you alone, now and forevermore. Lord, we pray, O oh God, that you cause money to make money in their pockets, blessings to make blessings in their lives, favor to make favor in their lives, even as you clothe them with the garment of praise, honor, and favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, because we know you always hear and answer us. We still have a prayer request to the blood of Jesus. We say thank you because we know it is signed, sealed, settled, done, and dusted. In Jesus' mighty and blessed name, we pray with thanksgiving. And all the saints shall say a dynamous amen, but I shall sing the amen. 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 Let it be so. Amen. 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 In their lives. Amen. As we are free. Amen. Let it be in their lives. Let it be so. Amen. 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 In their lives. Amen. As we are free. Amen. Let it be in their lives. Till the prayers. Amen. 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 With the blood of Jesus. Amen. Let it be so. Amen. In the lives. As we pray, come on, come on. Amen. In the lives, as we pray. God bless you all tremendously. May you feel your bands with all good things and enlarge your coast. May he cause you to walk on beautiful lands. May he lead you beside still waters and restore your soul. I always get to say I love you so very much, but God loves you way, way more. Have a blast. Happy birthday. Bisou, bisou. Joyeux anniversaire à tout le monde. Yes, we are done and dusted with a birthday party. Now it's time for the Bible party. Are you ready? Ready or not, here I come. Uh, we need to get the fan out because we need to mute out the noise. So they have to get the fan out. It's Psalms 9 and 6 and it has 13 verses so guys please permit me to take out the fan Okay, guys, we are back again. So let's go. Psalm 96. Let's see how ready you guys are. Ready or not, here I come. Psalm 96. And he has 13 verses, like I said. Are you ready? Oh my no. That flipped. Oh. Let's try to open it here, guys. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. So 96. Oh, come on. Psalm 96. my life and my salvation whom shall I fear okay I got it here guys so let's go are you ready ready or not here I come guys it's so hot I still have to just turn off the fan everything just goes like super super hot 
Are you ready? Let's go. Let's do this. Psalm 96. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord. Bless his name. Shew forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give unto the Lord, O ye kindred of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. Fear before him all the earth. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth. The world also shall be established, that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice before the Lord. For he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. This is the word of the Lord. And all the saints shall say a dynamous thanks be to God. So guys, please. We need the fan. If not, I'm going to cook. Let me get it back. <laughs> okay. We're back. You guys just have to bear with that sound at the back, okay? Because it's so, so hot. Okay, so let's go. Guys, hope you can hear me clearly. Hope you can hear me loud and clear. I always forget to to check if we are if we are on and live. This ain't good. So, what did you learn? What did you learn? What did you learn? Like I said, you can tell us what you learned in church today at service. You can tell us what you learned during your quiet time you can tell us what you learn like anything like anything but it has to do with god it has to be christ-centered that's the whole idea it has to be like all about jesus it has to be all about god so you want to actually um get this right you want to do it the right way so let's go guys what did you learn what did you learn either from the scripture that we just read or from God showing you or telling you something and I always say please do not feel restrained like if God is telling you to post something post it if God is telling you to say something please go ahead and say it we need it we need you we need we desperately need you to be a part of a chapter today we desperately need you to come and be a blessing to someone on here okay so please don't hesitate don't hesitate to come and be a part of this so that you can be a blessing, so that you can bless someone. And also do not forget to share this out so that a lot more people can come and get blessed, okay? So let's go. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Um, let's find out if we are actually on top. Um, let's find out if we are actually on top. We are. So it's working. So I don't need to be too bothered. Okay, so I'll oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, sing to the Lord a new song. I will sing unto the Lord a joyful song. I will praise His name, for the Lord is good. <laughs> Let all the earth sing to the Lord. Are you one of those who is going to sing to God? Are you one of those who is going to worship God? You're going to praise God. You're going to honor Him. 
singing is a good thing and of course for the records those of us who like singing and those of us who like praising God you're doing a good job because this is what we're going to be doing when we're in heaven praising and worshiping God we're created for worship like so when we go to heaven we'll still be praising and worshiping God right see the 24 elders are doing that all the time so we're just doing rehearsals here we're actually in the right field <laughs> That's not supposed to mean that whatever you're doing or whatever you're called to do is not something. It's it's very, very important. God has it, you know. But we who see, we just love it. And we know we're going to keep doing it for the rest of our days. In eternity, we're going to still keep doing this. So how beautiful can it get? Sing unto the Lord, bless his name. Show for his salvation from day to day. Train for God's salvation from day to day is the way you live your life, right? You know that if you've received Christ, if you've accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, we're not only supposed to hear it. You're not supposed to go about telling us, oh, I'm saved, I'm saved, I'm saved. No. No. We have to be able to see it. Like the unbelievers in the days of Jesus' disciples call them Christians because they saw the life of Christ in the disciples. They saw the disciples doing the exact same thing that Jesus was doing, and at some point, even more. Because the Bible says that we can do greater things. Great things God has done, but greater things we will do. And all the glory be unto God. But it's God that would help us to be able to do those things. You get the trick? So that's how it works. So, I don't know about you, but me... I really want to do great things for God. I really want my salvation experience to be worth it. I want um, God to make profits through me so that he should not regret plowing me back. You know, it's, it's like his business. He invested his only begotten son, right, in this business. And then the profit of his only begotten son was me. And then he decided that he was not going to take the profits. Like he was not going to remove the profits from the business. He had to plow back. So I'm still here. And let me be profitable enough. Let me make him see that it was worth it leaving me here. Like he didn't make a mistake to plow back me as profit into this business of winning souls for the kingdom so let my life make people desire to know God let my life make people want to serve God right you get okay and then it says declare his glory among the hidden his wonders amongst the people there's even no way like when God has done things for you eh, there's no way you can sit quiet Honestly speaking, like, it will just be bubbling in you. You just want to tell the next person. When God just does something for me, I really want to testify. I just really want to testify. And, of course, testifying is a very important way because the Bible says we overcame them by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. So testimonies are good. It's to learn to testify. When God does good things for you, testify about them. Testify. Testify. Your testimony can actually encourage someone. Your testimony can make someone get to do what God has been expecting them to do and do it perfectly. Yeah. So we need your testimony. We really do need your testimony. It says, For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. Yes, the Lord is the greatest. He's the creator of the universe. He's the creator of all mankind. He's the savior of the world. He's the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world and still the Lion of the tribe of Judah. He's our defender. He's our healer. He's our provider. He's our protector. He's our savior. Oh, who is he to you? Who is God to you? He's everything. Jehovah Vadu, Jehovah Kamba Khan. The impossibility specialist. The one who was, who is always to come. The Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end. Aga Marama. What are you talking about? The big God. The great, great God. He is God all by himself. And it says, honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Words cannot even describe it. You know? Words really cannot describe how the presence of God is. 
Give unto the Lord, all ye kindreds of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due to his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. Give him the glory due to his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. Give him the glory due to his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. Give him the glory due to his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. Give him the glory due to his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. Give him the glory due to his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. Give him the glory due to his name. Yeah, I love to sing, guys. So you all bear with me. I told you guys that when I read and read and read and I see any part that is like a song that I know, maybe a line or a verse or something, I'm going to sing it. You know, right? <laughs> so yeah, fear before him all the earth. When they say fear, it's not fear like fright. It's fear like reverence. It's like honoring somebody. It's like respect. It's like giving honor to someone, okay? So it's not fear like fright. like, oh, come to the Lord and be trembling. No. <laughs> it says, Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of His holiness. Fear before Him all the earth. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth. The Lord in it let the air tremble. 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 He reigns, he reigns, he reigns, he reigns, he reigns, let the air tremble. He reigns, he reigns, he reigns, he reigns, he reigns, let the air tremble. My Lord in it let the air tremble. He reign and let the earth tremble. The Lord reign and let the earth tremble. He reign and let the earth tremble. My God reigns. He reigns, he reigns, he reign and let the earth tremble. My God reigns, he reigns, he reigns. He reign and let the earth tremble. <laughs> Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth. The world also shall be established, that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. That's God. God is the just George. He came before to set us free from sin and shame and pain. And that's why he died on the cross. He's coming again. But this time as a George. To take those who accepted the finished work that he did on the cross. And then send those who did not accept. Who rejected. Because some people, no, I didn't reject him. By not accepting him, you're automatically rejecting him. There's no middle ground, darling. There's no, I'm not making a choice. By not making a choice, you've made a choice of not accepting Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. And that qualifies you for hell. But if you don't want to end up in hell, darling, then you have to make the bold step of accepting Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. That's how we roll. So let's go. It says, um, Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof. Even, the, even nature itself is praising God. Even nature itself is worshiping God. Even nature itself is doing things to tell you that God reigns. Like God is good. Like God is totally and completely awesome. So what is hard? What is so hard for you to do it? The Lord says that if you don't praise him, he'll raise stones to praise him. Do you want to be here on earth and then stones are praising God in your place? God forbid. My Nigerian people say, to fear. To fear. How can I be on earth? Me, princess. Me. Baby girl of Jesus. God's favorite baby girl. Me. I'm on earth. And then stones are praising God. Hey! Abomination. It's not abomination. No. It's abomination. Because I don't... It, it's not being... Hey! God forbid. God forbid. And forbid. And forbid. That I am on earth. Me. And stones are praising God. And the earth is praising God. The trees are praising God. The birds are praising God. What's the apple? I say, what did happen? May the good Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. And it says, 
Let the field be joyful. Let the field be joyful and all that is daring. Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice before the Lord. For he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. The truth is the word of God. And that's why we're urging you every single day. We're crying and singing and shouting as much as we can to the top of our voices if we have to. That you need to study the word of God. You need to know the word of God because the word of God is truth. Yes, the word of God is truth. It's, it's in this word that you can get the truth of the word. That you can get the truth that the Bible is talking about. The, the Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. It shall make you free. It is the truth in the word of God that makes you free. It is the truth in this word that gives you peace of mind. It's in the truth in this word that gives you calmness. In difficult situations, in trying situations, at those times when it feels like God is silent, at those times when it feels like everything is going topsy-turvy, it's going the opposite direction, it's the word of God that you can hold on to because you know the word of God never fails. Yeah. So you see, the Lord is coming again. The Lord is coming again. The same who died on the cross to take us up to heaven where we'll live forevermore. The Lord is coming again, again. The same who died on the cross to save, to take us up to heaven where we'll live forevermore. My Lord is coming again, the same who died on the cross to save, to take us up to heaven where we'll live forevermore. You want to live with Christ in eternity? It's eternity. That's forever. You want to be careful where you want to spend eternity. Honestly speaking, you want to be careful where you want to spend eternity. You want to spend eternity with God in heaven. You don't want to spend eternity in hell. Sometimes when fire burns me or when a spark of fire falls on me or when a candle burns me or when something hot burns me, it feels like, like, I mean, it's so painful. It is terribly, deadly painful. I'm imagining having to have your whole body that is just the part of my body that will be feeling the pain as at that time. Like, it's just a part of my body. Maybe the spark of fire fell on my hand. Maybe the food burnt my hand or burnt my leg. Or just a part of my body. It hurts so bad. And then I'm imagining that my whole body is not just my hand or my leg or whatever part of my body that that thing fell on that is paining. My whole body will be paining like that. And then forever. It can scare you to salvation. I would rather you get scared to being saved. You get frightened by that kind of description and then you get saved than to spend eternity in hell. Honestly speaking, if something like that can scare you to being saved, it's okay. Because I wouldn't even wish my enemy to be in hell. It's not a good place. It's not a good place. It was not even made for you. It was made for, dev for the devil and his agents. So stop giving population to the, to the kingdom of darkness. Accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior today. And you'll be saved. And you'll enjoy the truth in this, in the word of God. So guys, this has been it today on the chapter a day. Hope you had a great time. I did. Service was beautiful today, and uh, we had a slow time. We actually just left as soon as service ended. And of course, there was something that my pastor said today. Preparation, preparation, preparation. A lot of us, we don't prepare. We pray and pray and pray, but we don't prepare. There are some things you need to do physically. God will tell you, God will show you. But sometimes we ignore and we stick to prayers because we just want to be lazy. And then when opportunities come, 
We can't see them because we don't even know those are opportunities because we're not prepared. The Bible says, watch and pray. Watch. It's an action that you're supposed to be doing. And then you pray. So guys, I really, really appreciate you all. I really, really appreciate you all for always being a part of a chapter a day. I don't take it for granted. Have a happy Sunday. My holiday is almost done. So sooner, sooner than not, we're going to be getting our regular a chapter a day, which was normally 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be getting back to that. And of course, we'll be getting many other things that we'll have to add on a chapter a day. I don't know yet. But as we go on, the Lord is going to lead us. The, God, the Lord is going to guide us. And like we said, this is going to be ending in 2024. We started in 2021. We're done with the New Testament. We're now almost like half of the Old Testament. And uh, we're grateful that God gave us an opportunity to be a part of this. You know, like we're really, really grateful. So, guys, let's get this on with. Let's get this going. Um, today, we're going to pray for salvation of souls. We're going to pray that God should save, save as many as possible. He should save these people and bring them to the saving knowledge of Christ. Bring them to the power in salvation. Bring them to the understanding that if you want to spend eternity with God in heaven, you would have to be saved. So let's pray for the salvation of souls. Father, we come before your throne of grace this day, O Lord. We bring before you all the unsaved, their family members of ours, their friends of ours, relatives and loved ones in and out of the nation who are not saved. Lord, we pray, O God, that they will all have a salt and Paul encounter. Lord, Saul thought he knew you. He thought he was serving you. He was sincere, but he was sincerely wrong. Lord, some of our family members are like this. Some of our friends are like Saul. Some of our relatives and loved ones in and out of the nation, they're just like Saul, going about doing their stuff and believing and hoping and knowing that in their sincerely wrongness, they're actually serving you. Lord, I pray that just like you gave Saul an encounter that made him to become Paul, you're also going to give these people an encounter, oh God, that will make them to truly know you, oh God. And for the ones who do not even know you at all, Lord, I pray the same, oh God. Let them have an encounter. That encounter that changes lives. That encounter that brings deliverance. That encounter that brings transformation. That encounter that brings salvation. That encounter that brings newness of life, oh God. Father, let your people have an encounter in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, all over the world, oh God. Father, if we have to speak to them, oh God, put the words in our mouths to speak. That will bring them to that place where they'll have a broken heart and a contrary spirit. And they'll come to you and you will not despise them, oh Lord. Father, teach us, oh God. Put the words in our mouths to speak, oh God. Father, wherever they need to have that encounter, oh God. Make them to be at those places at the right time, oh God. So that the encounter is going to happen in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, ever living Father. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, I am that I am. Thank you, mighty man in battle. Thank you, Savior of the world. Thank you, Creator of the universe. Lord, we know that you've done it, O oh God. Save your people, O oh God. Save your children, O oh God, from all the wiles of the enemy, O oh God. Let every veil, O oh God, that is blinding them, let it be consumed and torn by the Holy Ghost fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you're going to set your people free and they'll be free indeed, O oh Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, King of Glory, because I know you always hear and answer. In Jesus' mighty and blessed name, we pray with thanksgiving. And all the saints shall say, Jainamas, Amen. I always get to say I love you so very much, but God loves you way, way more. Get to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get all our updates each time we upload a new video or we get to go live. We have our audio Bible on TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube. We're looking forward to having it on all the social media platforms. And we hope that 
you're going to join us on all these platforms you're going to listen you're going to watch and you're going to be growing your faith and we'll be growing together all to the glory of god it's all about jesus it's all about making jesus famous we are unashamed we're unapologetic we're not sorry that we're doing god full time if we can we'll do him over time as well because he's the best best of the best things that ever happened to us and it can be you too it can be your story as well you just need to accept him it can be your story too it's my reality it's my truth it is what it is it can be yours too it can yes it can so tomorrow is going to be psalm psalm 97 tomorrow is going to be psalm 97 and I hope that you all are going to read ahead of time and we'll come back here and have a swell time together. I'll be delighted to have you commenting and saying what you read and telling us what you understood by that scripture or what the Lord placed in your heart or the rhema that the Lord will release upon you as you read Psalm 97. We're going faster than I thought, guys. We're already in Psalm 90. This is so cool. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for another amazing session that you've given us as always. You never, ever fail. You're always beating the record. You're always taking us to the next level. Lord, your word says it's from glory to glory. We believe that because we have seen you glorify yourself through us, in us, for us, around us, and with us, time without number countless times lord we are totally and completely grateful we give you all the praise we bless your holy name oh god we magnify you your god all by yourself take preeminence for now and forevermore because you deserve it you are the faithful god you reign and live on high you reign let the earth tremble be thou exalted oh god bless our going out and coming in lord we pray oh god even for those who are still to go to service that you're going to take them safely to service and as they go expectant you're going to speak to them in a special way and for those of us who are halfway gone with our day we're going to bless the rest of the days and for those of us who are about to go to bed you're going to cause us to dream dreams and see visions just like you promised your children lord we give you all the praise we give you all the honor we give you all the adoration there is no like unto thee, O God. Amongst the gods who is like thee, your glorious and holiness, we say thank you. We appreciate you for your availability. We appreciate you for your loving kindness. We appreciate you for loving us the way you do, beyond human comprehension. We are grateful, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because we know you always hear and answer us. For in Jesus' mighty and blessed name, we pray with thanksgiving. And all the saints shall say a ginormous. Amen. Amen. And Amen. Welcome, Mom Collins. No, welcome, Mr. Collins Chi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It has been a long, long time. You're just coming when we're signing out. So, did you go to church today? What did they preach in church? Maybe we can just hold on for you. What did they say in church today? Did they attend service? Or what did God say to you? I mean, like, it has been an entire week. What was the highlight of your week? How was your week so far? This is a new week starting. We're glad to have you. Even though we're about to sign out, but we're glad to have you. And we'd love to hear from you. Oh, yes. Amen. <laughs> yeah so what is the lord saying how's your day been how was service today my own service was really really amazing it was really awesome and we learned that god did not send his son jesus to come and condemn us he sent him to come and save us and so we should stop feeling condemned we should stop feeling condemned there is sometimes the enemy plays a fast one on us when you've made a mistake it's all right 
all you need to realize yourself and go back and ask God for forgiveness. If you've asked God for forgiveness, you are washed, you are cleansed, you are pure. Like that. But you know, the enemy will come and keep reminding you about it. He'll come and start telling you and saying this and that and that and trying to confuse you and trying to get you worked up and all those kinds of things. Do not, do not, do not believe the lies of the devil. Jesus did not come to condemn you. He came to save you. He came to save you. While we're yet seen as Christ died for us. Oh, Mr. Mark. Mr. Mark, please, we want to hear your voice. Can we hear your voice? Is it possible? Is it possible that we can hear your voice? And Minister Mark says, we learn in our church that our faith will overcome. Oh, my God, I love that word. Yes, faith always overcomes. We need to have faith. We need to trust in God. We need to believe in God. We need to depend on God. And she says, my Roman scripture from today's service, Romans chapter 14, verse 17. For the kingdom of God is not a matter of what we eat or drink, but of living a life of goodness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Oh my God. The kingdom of God is not rice and beans, but righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Ah. Hey, my God, I can imagine. Oh, my God, I would have been so glad to have you on. Anyways, thank you that you came this last minute and you actually still gave your, um, your, you actually gave your contribution. We're so glad that you even showed up at this time. We are totally and completely grateful. May the good Lord continuously bless you and continuously keep you all. Thank you all for always, always, always coming. Tomorrow is another day. Have a great week, people. God bless you. Ciao, ciao. Okay. And um, Mr. Collins G says, My service was all about anointing. And it was from 1 Samuel chapter 16, from verse 13 to 18. Oh, was that where Samuel went and anointed David? Is that a part? Let me see. Let's try to look for it. Do, do. The anointing breaks the yoke. When I come into your presence, I'm so happy. When I come into your presence, I'm so glad. In your presence, there is anointing. And your spirit moves around me. In your presence. The anointing breaks the yoke. When I come into your presence, I'm so happy. Oh, yes, it is. That's the one. And let's read it out. First Samuel 16 from verse 13 to verse 18. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. And Saul's servant said unto him, Behold now, an evil spirit from God troubleth thee. Let our Lord now command thy servants, which are before thee, to seek out the man who is a cunning player on an harp, and it shall come to pass, when the evil spirit from God is upon thee, that he shall play with his hand, and thou shalt be well. And Saul said unto his servants, Provide me now a man that can play well, and bring him to me. Then answered one of the servants, and said, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, that is cunning in playing, and a mighty valiant man, and a man of war, and a prudent man, and, a, and prudent in matters, and a comely person, and the Lord is with him. Hey! Lord, anoint me. Anoint me, Father. See, when the anointing of God comes upon you, eh? Your star did just shine. Like, you don't, you don't stress out. This guy has been playing, he, this is happening. Not be today, start playing music. 
But all of a sudden, all of a sudden, see, God of suddenly, suddenly, he was anointed. The next minute, his gift was needed. Hey! When anointing follows you, when anointing for opportunity to start show, left, right, from back and center, when anointing comes upon you, doors just begin to open on their own accord. Hey! Hey! Ha! This man has been playing this flute or harp or whatever long, long ago. All of a sudden, after anointing, opportunity show. And you see, there's a funny thing. Some people will have to be in trouble for your gift to manifest. Evil spirit we get for day for soul in life. Hmm? <laughs> for David's <laughs> gift. For the anointing of God upon David's life to be revealed. Some people will have to be in trouble for your <laughs> for your gifting to shine. Yeah? Hmm. So, when you begin to see those wahalas around, know that it's time for your gift to shine. It's, a, it's time for the anointing that God has bestowed upon you to, <laughs> to blink. Yes, so, yes, so. Thank you, guys, for this one. You brought it in good time. Lord, anoint me. Anoint me, O oh God. Anoint me for your glory. Anoint me and use me for your glory. I avail myself, O oh God. I want to be used of you. I want to be used by you. Father, use me in any way. Anoint me and use me for your glory. And of course, they anointed David as king. Oh. But he didn't start being king immediately. He was anointed. God still follow regular protocol. Shame these people's days, eh? Until the king is dead, another king cannot sit on the throne. So you see sometimes in the book of Kings when we read, some kings will kill another one, they'll play a coup, coup d'etat and kill the other one, like, you know, treason and all. They would kill this one, kill that one, kill that one, and they have to sit on the throne. Because in their generation, in their times, you cannot say there was coronation yesterday, Abby. This man could not be king until Queen Elisa had to go. Nothing. So no matter how serious, no matter how good you are, no matter how perfect you are, no matter how ugly and dumb and daft the other person is, see how Saul had, God had already rejected Saul a long time ago. He had rejected Saul. But even after anointing David, David did not automatically become king. He became king 17 years after. You would think that because he was anointed, he was now secured, he was now protected. <laughs> 17 good years. At some point, he was even a fugitive in his own country. The truth is, when God's word has come upon your life, it must come to pass. See, hold on to that part. That the word of God can never fail. It must come to pass. So it doesn't matter whether God told you this thing 10 years ago. It doesn't matter what I told you 20 years ago. It doesn't matter what I told you yesterday. Eh? One thing you should know for sure. Which there is a track record. That when God says a thing, it must come to pass. Know that it will happen. If God has said it, then he will do it. He has a track record of keeping his word now. He's not a man. That he will lie. Or it's not a man that he should repent. If he has said it, he will do it. Though. If God has said it, he will do it. I know the God I serve. So guys, thank you all for coming even this last minute. And you still made this place to be on fire. I'm really grateful. I don't take it for granted. I'm so, so happy. And like I said, have a great week, people. Until tomorrow. Ciao, ciao. Bisous, bisous.